there! Welcome to a multi-part series where we'll explore the incredible world of analytics engineering. Ready to take your data platforms to a new level of structure, cleanliness, and efficiency? This series will help you with precisely that. To make things interesting, let's create a visualization of what we're about to achieve. Imagine that we have YouTube data itching to be analyzed using a robust platform like BigQuery. In this series, I'll demonstrate how to unleash the power of Google Cloud Technologies to keep that data engineering and analytics engineering as simple and agile as possible. Keep in mind though, our methodology remains valuable no matter what tech you're using. Increasingly, modern organizations are leveraging Extract Load Transform ELT pipelines instead of Extract Transform Load ETL pipelines. Why, you ask? Let's just say ETL has its challenges, complexities, excessive load on extraction tools and opacity, and we're not loading the data until after transforming it. Additionally, data storage is relatively cheap in the modern world of cloud data warehouses, so we don't get a lot of value from paring the data down before loading it. Keeping the raw data in addition to derived and transformed data assets is almost always worth the small cost. Following this vision, we'll feed the YouTube data directly into BigQuery and use Dataform, our trusty tool for post-loading transformations. This means transforming data using BigQuery operations with Dataform as a powerful overlay and abstraction layer. You're probably thinking, what about DBT, another familiar tool, which shares the same philosophy as Dataform? Agreed, but DBT requires a license for most capabilities and usually involves more setup. So let's keep it uncomplicated with the free Dataform service today. A natural starting point for the analytics engineering discussion is data sources, since everything is essentially downstream from there. This video will focus on this particular subtopic. As previously mentioned, our sources should be handled with ELT pipelines. We'll make the ingestion process less complex by loading the data without transforming it first. For this, we'll use BigQuery's data transfer service to handle the extraction and loading for us. There are other options, of course, like Fivetran, but regardless of the tool, getting your data extracted and loaded is a promising start. This video is accompanied by CSV and Python files, find them in the video description, so that you can simply import CSV tables and then follow along. Inside Dataform, we have development workspaces for data ops and Git ops, aimed at transforming our raw data and providing structure around our sources. Our Git-backed repository of transformations, which can include JavaScript and modular SQL code, gives enhanced control and additional features over our SQL scripts. These SQL scripts can then be run as executions to produce our curated data. This approach advantageously utilizes the scalability of modern data warehouses, particularly the hyperscaler options from AWS, GCP, or Azure. Before starting any transformations, we need our source data, and a best practice is providing an abstraction layer on top of these sources. In Dataform, this involves creating source declarations. For example, you have the project, dataset, and table corresponding to the table in the YouTube dataset. These source specifications can then be used in your transformations like some staging transformations. An important advantage here is the flexibility to adapt easily if the source data changes 
requiring only a one-time adjustment in the source declaration. For example, if our extract load tooling changes the name on a table, we only need to reflect that change once in the source declaration rather than changing a bunch of transformations across various layers of our data platform. The next biggest advantage that we're going to examine pertains to source data and lineage tracking. Let's consider the lineage for this table using Dataform's compiled graph feature. This essentially presents a visualization of our source declarations and how they propagate through various transformation layers in our data platform. Therefore, in this graph, we can identify derived tables, views, as well as various tests and assertions, all of which we'll delve into later. For instance, for the geography's fact path, we're using our basic and province source data. We only get this if we can create logical tracking structures around our sources via the declarations. The same principle also applies for data cataloging. We get better data discovery, cataloging, and documentation, which we'll talk about more throughout the series, when we declare our data sources explicitly. With Dataform specifically, lineage tracking is automated. Depending on the analytics engineering tool you're using, the approach to tracking lineage may vary. Regardless, using source declarations in a way that allows lineage tracking is considered a best practice. In summary then, use source declarations in your analytics engineering work to facilitate the extract load transform pattern, accommodate source data changes more easily, and enable data lineage and cataloging. As we move forward in this video series, we'll be exploring other important concepts in analytics engineering. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to having you join us in the next video.